I just love Sundays, you guys, and having fresh flowers on a Sunday. They're so gorgeous. I love this beautiful arrangement. But welcome back to another weekly vlog, you guys. Today's actually Sunday. I'm getting ready to head out to brunch. So before we jump right in, this video is in partnership with House. House is a California-based company that makes all natural aperitifs. If you're not familiar with an aperitif, it has a lower alcohol content, which makes it perfect to like be mixed into like a cocktail or even served on its own on the rocks, which is how I have been enjoying it and it's so nice. They do have a variety of flavors for you to choose from. So many great flavors. I got the ginger yuzu and I also got the peach passion fruit i also would really like to check out the rosé one i feel like that would be pretty nice so aperitifs are oftentimes enjoyed before or after a meal because they kind of just ignite the taste buds i never tried one prior to this and i really did like it it's so lightweight and just so airy and the flavors just really stand out one of the best things is haas gets delivered directly to your door and all the ingredients that are in the bottle are on the back so you know exactly what you are consuming, which is amazing. And the bottle is just so aesthetically pleasing as well. It is gorgeous. And I will also have a code for you guys. I'll either put it on the screen or it'll be in my description box below. So definitely check them out. I think you guys will enjoy it. And it's all natural. So thank you again to Haas for sponsoring today's video. And let's continue on with the vlog. Our drink is made, so cheers. All right, guys, so it's Friday night, 6.27 to be exact. I literally just got in, and I saw that I got a package from YesStyle, so I thought I would do a quick little unboxing. Please excuse my surroundings. I literally need to straighten up this apartment. Um, so, so I got a package from YesStyle. Literally this big old box. I'm gonna say, I guess it's like gifted because they did reach out to tell me that they were gonna give me like a $300 like coupon and I could just shop and whatever. So I got a bunch of stuff from them. I'm going to move this into my room though because the lighting isn't too great out here and I just can't be bothered. I came home to this big old box here with a bunch of stuff which I ordered. I guess you can say this is gifted because they did reach out and told me, tell me that they were gonna give me like a $300 coupon and I could just shop. So um, that's basically what this is. I got a bunch of things. And I'm actually a huge fan of Yes Style because the clothing on the site is always like really different from what you'll probably find here, like on Zara for for example and also at like a cheaper price so the first thing I have is this beige sweater here it's like a very chunky knit sweater very cozy very thick thing I have is this printed top and I saw this top and I was like whoa I love it oh feels pretty good um, it's just like this random like blue button down shirt it's very like oversized i thought this would look so nice next thing i have is oh whatever this is it feels really soft okay it's a turtleneck so this is just what it looks like it's just a black turtleneck sweater what else i got i got this beautiful blue sweater you guys know I don't wear one much color, but as of lately, I've just been feeling like I want like a really nice blue top. I love the shade, the shade of blue as well. So this is just like a regular blue sweater. Um, I got some random things as well. Like some random stuff. Oh, okay. This is a makeup sponge to clean my face. I just got a oh, it's an eyeshadow palette. I don't know why I got this. And then I got a head massager, which I'm so excited for. I also got this thing here. It's a vest. Ooh, I'm so excited. I got some really cool stuff that I haven't seen on any other site. Oh, sorry. It, it's like a 
of this, you guys. It's basically a long vest, ties at the waist. Um, it's really hard to explain this, and I just don't feel like trying anything on right now. Um, I'm so tired. This is for Renee. It's a pair of leggings. Oh my god, they look so tiny. But they really do stretch, so that's fine. This one is... I don't really remember what this is, you know. Oh, this is a turtleneck sweater. <laughs> I feel like I really... I saw this stripe print and I was like, oh, this looks so like classy and like very bright. I feel like that would be really cool. Next thing I have here is... Oh, this is a sweater actually. It's a sweater with like a lot of like details on the front. I thought this looks so cool. Can't wait to wear this. A chunky knit sweater. Ooh, look at this skirt, you guys. I am so excited to wear this skirt. And it's in this like tweed print, not print, but like this tweed-ish fabric. So it's gonna just look so like winter vibes. Oh my God, I can't wait to wear this. I don't know what this blue thing is. This is so ugly. That's pretty much all that I got from Yes Style. I link everything that I showed in this video below. But I feel like I'm gonna wear all of these items in my OOTD series for next week, so you'll see them all being worn. So don't worry. But that's pretty much it for tonight. I'll touch base with you guys tomorrow on Saturday. Um, I'm just gonna unwind now and just kind of like enjoy the evening and stuff. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. So today is Saturday. I slept in a little bit, so it's after 8.30 right now, like 8.39 or something like that. I kind of just woke up and brushed my teeth, washed my face, and did my little sunscreen and moisturizer routine for the skin and i'm currently just eating a pear right now because i'm getting ready to head to the nail salon my nails are disgusting have you guys ever seen my nails like this like i've never seen my nails just pop off like this ever in my life um this hand isn't doing too bad but yeah i need to do my nails today like for sure so that's pretty much the plan for today and then i'm gonna some way somehow swing by the grocery store and pick up ingredients for chicken soup today i don't know if i'm gonna make chicken foot soup or a chicken soup but i really want soup today like some spicy soup spicy chicken soup jamaican style whatever so that is the plan for right now it's also kind of drizzling outside too so that's pretty much what i'm doing all right guys i'm home and i feel like i haven't really vlogged in my kitchen in so long but um, I got some groceries from the store and I also picked up like this um, flower arrangement. I haven't really bought flowers for myself in a long time because I'm really not here as much. So yeah, but I saw this and I thought it was pretty. It's very, um, it instantly made me feel very happy. And I guess it's because of like all the yellow tones. It's very pretty. So I'm just gonna trim this part here. I definitely trimmed the stems too much, but it's fine. It's all right. So I actually got some groceries. I'm not sure if you guys would care to see. It's not like a usual grocery haul. I got some like, um, some different stuff, Jamaican stuff, Jamaican food stuff. So I got some ingredients for my soup later. I'm gonna make some soup. I was gonna make like chicken soup, but I decided to make chicken foot soup. So I got some corn for that. Then I got some scotch bonnet pepper or habanero. Um, I got a trio pack of peppers, just to kind of have in the fridge. I always cook with peppers. I got some thyme. I got some onion, I got some potatoes. Um, what else I have in here? I got three Maltas. I love Maltas. I've been very obsessed with Maltas lately, which is so random. So random, but I got three. I got two tin macros. Because, you know, macaroni and rice is like a really quick meal for me to make, especially during the week when I come home from like the office and stuff. I got some more of the caramel porridge, the instant one. 
Oh my god, these were so good the other day and I just went to get some more. I got six. <laughs> yep, I got six. Um, and I just bring these to the office for in the morning. Like, just, it's basically you put hot water and it's ready, you know? It's just very easy. I got some jasmine rice. I got this, whoa. I got this Rouse homemade arrabbiata spicy marinara sauce. Um, I feel like this would be a really good dish with like some spaghetti, the peppers, um, a really good like, I don't know, pasta, pasta dish. I also got some shredded um, Parmesan cheese, you know. Just grabbing things for like a dinner type of thing. Dinner is kind of like the only meal I have now at home if I cook, especially during the week. And then I got some um, scallions, both for pasta and today's soup. I got some carrots. And these carrots freak me out, but it's the one that I like to buy because it's the organic ones. Um, but they have like the long stem. <laughs> They're so it's creepy. That's pretty much it. Wait, am I missing something? I almost had a heart attack because I thought I'm forgetting like the main thing. Okay, so I also got this sea salt sky and sea salt air freshener. It's for the Glade things. I promise you, I don't know if you guys use like the Bath and Body Works ones, the wallflower things, which I do love a lot, but I really do prefer the Glade. It really just smells of your apartment or house more if you ask me. Um, this scent was on sale, so I'm not really sure what it smells like, but I think there's a tester thing. Hold on. You scratch and you breathe. Oh, I love this. It smells exactly like what I thought it was going to smell like. It smells very beachy. And then I got some thin spaghetti. I got this random cheese, something, cheese strips, cheese puff thingy. I got some more brittle pads because I switch these out pretty much weekly to two weeks because they... Hold on to bacteria. They're really not good for you to like, store up. I got this big pack of gum. Also got two soup mix, pumpkin and chicken. And down to the star of today's show, chicken feet. This is what they look like, you guys. Chicken feet, chicken foot, whatever you call them. I'm so happy. And they're so cheap. This one was $3.59. $3.59 and I also got I can't wait to show you guys this Kidney I got a kidney beef kidney and I'm gonna cook this up right now But that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. Oh, I also got my nails done I just got this bag very natural clear pink Nothing fancy So I'm just gonna start cooking now the chicken feet does take a little bit of prepping I have to cut the toenails off and I have to boil them for a long time because they, you need to boil them for a long time so they get tender to where you you can eat them. I'm going to get started on that and I'll touch base with you guys either later. I'll show you guys the soup and the kidney once it's cooked and stuff. But yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Morning guys, happy Monday. I look crazy right now, but I woke up, showered and all of that. I'm getting ready to head into the office. So my makeup is done gonna get this wig on right now um, so for those of you guys who don't know um, because I did say on live the other day I did big chop my hair um, so my hair is completely natural now and I wanted to tell you guys that I've been struggling with it because it's been so dry right and last night I was on FaceTime with Renee and I was telling her how dry my hair was and she was like oh just apply like a cream based moisturizer I mean a cream based leave-in and then use the oil to seal it and my hair is so moisturized. It actually worked, which is so crazy that there's like a whole science to natural hair. So crazy. Usually with with um, relaxed hair, you just put in the product and it just works. <laughs> Whereas with um, natural hair, you have to put the cream and then the oil and seal it. Like, but it feels good though. My curls felt feel moisturized this morning. And that's good. Anyways, this wig is still a little bit wet because I did wash it last night, like at 10 o'clock, so it makes sense that it's not dry yet. I also ordered an actual wig, 
while I'm having a wig made. So I'm so excited for when that comes. Because the headband wig is starting to get like annoying to me now. And the yaki hair is a, so much maintenance because it gets tangled so easily. You have to like wash it a lot to cleanse it. And then, you know, conditioner. It's like a lot. It's really a lot. And I have to wash it every week for it to be good that week. So every week I have to wash it. I'm going to blow it out in a little bit. Just to kind of dry it. Then I'm going to do wand curls. So this is the headband wig on. Um, fold this part back so it looks more natural with your edges. BRB. Okay, so as I was blow drying the hair, I started to really like how it was looking bone straight. So I'm gonna try it this way for today, see how annoying it's gonna be, or if it's annoying at all. Um, I kinda just always do curls because the hair starts to get kinda tangled, like in the middle of the day anyways. And when your hair is curled and it's tangled, I just feel like it doesn't look as bad. Whereas if it was straight, it's just going to start looking all bunched up and stuff stuff like that. But yeah, told you guys, this light yaki here is no joke. It's just like, it's not like Brazilian silk hair and stuff. But yeah, which is typically what I'm used to. Um, I'm going to put a head scarf around my head. But first, I'm going to just lay my edges. I use the Tresemme All Day Hold Gel. This one here in strength number four. Um... I do quite like it. I'm not a baby hair person, as you guys may have figured. I don't like to do too much when it comes to baby hairs. I kind of just like to keep it very simple. Um, just let them do things that they would naturally do on their own kind of vibe. Um, but more so, I'm going to just be focusing on like slicking the hair back under the headband. Not like, you know, do anything fancy in the island mood. All right, looks good to me. So for today's outfit to the office, I'm going to be wearing these beige pants and this beige top. I've actually worn this exact outfit before, but I'm going to just wear it again. Then I'm probably just going to bring my Alma BB and then um, my big work tote bag there with like my other stuff. Um, basically, that's what I'm going to be wearing. So let me get dressed. So for the outfit, you guys, I'm just wearing this beige top from Aritzia. I ended up curling my hair, by the way. It did not look good straight at all. So that's what I'm wearing. Um, beige pants and um, this coat here. And then I'm just going to wear a pair of loafers that matches the coat. Um, again, for the bag, I have these two bags here for work. This is my bag here from Zara. I get so many questions about this daily. It is from Zara. When it's back in stock, I'll um, let you guys know via Insta or on here. Um, cause I had this, I bought this bag maybe two months ago. I purchased one for me and Renee with our initials on there. I thought it was such a cute bag. So that's what I have. And then I'm just going to bring my Alma BB just for like my personal stuff because this is going to be filled with all of the things that I have to bring in the office on like a Monday. I have to bring so much stuff in on Mondays, I have to bring um, like my tripod, my cameras, my batteries, everything that I brought home when I had to film from here. But I filmed all the content I need from the apartment already. So I'm just gonna, for the rest of the week, I will be filming from the office. So that's kind of like the system I've been, have I have to put in place. Um, that's basically what I'm doing, to be honest. It's gonna be a beautiful day today. So I'm very excited to just be out of the house as well because it's gonna be so so nice in the 40s which isn't like summer weather but it's better than what we have experienced thus far um i'm gonna wear this is pair of loafers ow i have so much stuff in my closet then i'm gonna be wearing this pair of loafers they have like this rustic look to them but they're really just old but they just look rustic <laughs> so i'm gonna be wearing this outfit today I really need a really nice pair of like work shoes in black and I also need another Louis Vuitton scarf with more black in it. 
I feel like I really want a scarf with like black tones because I have the perfect shoes to wear with this outfit right now but it has black in it and the scarf is just too neutral and brown so it doesn't look good so it's just like a lot <laughs> So that's pretty much basically what I'm wearing. I'll see you guys once I get to the office. Um, yeah. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Why do I have these sunglasses on? Anyways, I just want to show you guys my outfit before I head out to the office. And I also do not have my camera at home. I left it yesterday. So I'm just going to show you guys a quick outfit before I leave out. So for the hair, I'm just doing a half up, half down situation and then i'm just wearing this black and white top i love this top so much it's from yes style you would have seen me unbox it earlier this week but i also filmed a yes style haul so you will see everything there um oh the coat is from zara as well and just these dress pants from zara and these boots are from aldo i believe but yeah, this is pretty much the outfit for right now. Don't mind my messy room. I'm washing my sheets today and there's just stuff everywhere. It's so annoying. But yeah, this is basically the outfit for today. And I also, I also switched out my work bag for this black one here. I'm not using the brown one. Well, this one anymore. Well, I'm going to. But this week, I'm planning on wearing a lot of like whites, blacks, grays and so on and i just feel like this black bag would probably work best and the sunglasses is from desi it's the um the name it's called charge it um you guys would really like this i think so this is what the sunglasses are called um i feel like i look very like businessy and bougie and everything in one but you guys know that is the energy that I like. Anyways, so yeah. You're probably wondering why I also have man hands. I took my nails off because the salon I went to just did a shit job. And I knew that before I even went there. But I still went to waste my money. So I'm just going to go to Neary and get a full set. Just have it done prop properly. That I definitely want something very um, neutral, classy, and just perfect to like transition into like the Valentine's Day series. Um, Valentine's Day season, when Valentine's Day come, I might turn the French part into, like, hearts. I feel like that'd be very cute. So that's my plan for, like, the Valentine's Day, like, when February comes. And, um, that's pretty much it for the, the outfit. She did give me a 8 a.m. appointment. It's 7.40 right now. So I'm going to head out because she basically squeezed me in. And I'm so appreciative of her, like, fitting me in because without nails, you guys, I'm not... <laughs> okay i'm not okay like this dramatic update got my nails done just got like classic french in an oval shape also in the bathroom um it's actually lunchtime i've been in the office for maybe like two three hours um renee and i were gonna go grab ramen for lunch so that's what's happening. Oh. Do you have a, a ton of work to do? I am. Um, I feel like I have some yeah. stuff to do. Oh. So yeah, that's basically what's happening right now. I'm going to class ramen. I'm so excited. Um, yeah. Hey guys, 
So, hi guys! <laughs> so they had some little snack things at the bar area, so we're gonna make some infused water. Do you want me to like make it? Yeah. With like my hand? Renee, you can't, can't get some ice. ice. Hmm? You can't get some ice. It's cute! Without the street. It looks very industrial on the streets. I know, but you gotta angle. Okay, that's nice. Are you gonna do a video or are you gonna do the movie? Do a video. Okay. Are you Wait, I know we can dry someone. <laughs> do you guys see how long it takes to make these five second clips? <laughs> no, my and then can look so it don't look good. It don't look good. Hey guys, so fast forwarding, it's actually 6.35 right now on a Wednesday. It's been a long day, but I'm very happy because I got a lot done, I think. I feel like I got work done. Oh, I edited something. I, I edited a whole video, filmed a whole video. So I feel like we got a lot of stuff done. It was a great day. So we're just gonna head home now and probably go to the gym. Well, not probably. Renee wants to go to the gym, so. Yay! Um, we're gonna go to the gym <laughs> um, So just we're just gonna head back to my place change and then head to planet fitness Um, I haven't worked out in so long, but I'm just gonna hop on the stairmaster so much Guys, Brady's like a treadmill a treadmill person <laughs> Me sprinting <laughs> I can't I was gonna say treadmill bitch, bitch. <laughs> She is a treadmill person, so I just can't I get bored No, I mean well, I do intermediate intermittent running like i feel like if i tried to just run the whole time yeah i would probably like my own face off yeah but you're good at running though actually i watch you Thanks. i'm gonna go watch me i get that's like my worst fear that's like literally i try to tell myself the whole time like no one's even looking at me and i just run but now you said that, and I'm probably going to fall because I'm not finished. I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not going to watch you. I feel like I have to watch my own steps now because I'm on the Stairmaster. But I'm going to do the stair Stairmaster and prob probably, hopefully, just work up a sweat. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, let's pack up in here and then head out. Can you imagine if I didn't have an office space to film at? This is what I would have had to deal with every day. <laughs> God knows what he's doing. I, I say this all of the time, but look what he provided for me because he knows. Anyways, today's Friday. I'm not wearing any makeup and my skin is looking so good. It's just like it just keeps getting better and better and I'm just so grateful like I'm just so grateful like life just keeps getting better and better and better like my skin is looking good body's looking good mood is looking good business is looking good it's just like everything is just working out and um sorry I hope no one thinks I'm like bragging right now it's just like I am attracting all of this to me and it's working like my pos my positive attitude has just been attracting more things towards me more and more and more and it's just working and I'm so happy about it so happy anyways it's really random it's Friday morning and I am just getting ready for the office I have this one blemish here on my chest I'm gonna put makeup on that because I don't know I just feel like my chest is out today and I just feel like I don't want to be self-conscious I don't know like finick like whenever I have anything on my chest I don't get breakouts on my chest very often but once in a while I do and when I do I freak out about it I try to do all these like random treatments I put toothpaste and 
I put, I do too much and it leaves a scar. And it's just this one pimple. I haven't really broken out on, on my chest before. It's just this one time and I failed. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of, I just put some concealer. It doesn't even cover. I don't even, my chest is so much lighter than my actual body and face. So I don't know. But I did put sunscreen all over my chest though because I cannot be bothered. My room looks so crazy also. My bed has a bunch of stuff. It's a lot. So it's Friday, just gonna head into the office. I'm wearing this sweat set and I'm just gonna wear a pair of Uggs. Um, I have a lot of PR packages that I have to bring into the office that I picked up from the PO, PO box yesterday. And then I have to just unbox those on, on the stories today. And then I also have to work on a picture. It's just like, let me stop saying it is a lot. It's not a lot. I got this. I got this. This is what I signed up for and this is what I have to do. So I need to shut the F up and stop complaining. Okay, I feel like that covers. Oh. It's, you can see kind of like a white cast, but it's all right. I'm not really stressed out myself over what. And then um, my skin, I do have this one blemish here. You know what? I should just cover this one. This is how I always start off. Like, let me just spot treat, and then I end up with a full beat on. Full makeup, but I'm not going to do that today. My skin does need the break. I can feel that I have like an under skin pimple right by my nose. And I know it's because my pores just haven't had a chance to breathe in a long time. So, I'm not doing anything else. Just have a bit of found, um, concealer here. This is a fairly new pimple. Whenever my hair is dirty, I get like a little breakout right by my hairline. Um, I'm washing my hair this weekend though. I've been so lazy to wash my hair because it's like, barely have any hair. Like, why are you doing this? So that's pretty much it for the makeup. I'm just gonna finish up with getting ready now. I do have a pickup order at Target. I ordered some toilet paper and all of that stuff. I was trying to decide if I should go grab that before I head to the office, but I might just do it later. And then we also have to go to Ikea to get the shelving unit. It's finally back in stock to put into the office. So we do have quite a bit of stuff to do um, in terms of like for today, we, we're gonna have a long day. I can feel it in my bones, it's gonna be a long day. That's why I said to myself, you know what, let me just wear sweats because it's just gonna save me a lot of, you know, I don't wanna be uncomfortable while we're building furniture and just doing all this extra stuff. So I just say, you know what, let me just, wear sweats be comfy and get it done but i'm gonna pull you guys out when i'm in the office and stuff um hey guys so made it to the office i'm in the conference room the one that we filmed tea time in um i love this conference room it's my favorite one in terms of like aesthetic and stuff um but i actually have a couple things to shoot like for the feed for a brand so i i just came in here because i'm gonna like try to set up and shoot well not like a video like a picture so it's kind of like why we're in here right now let me just prop you guys up right here. And I'm just gonna have to get this stuff set up. I don't really know what the concept I'm going for is. Don't know what the concept for the shoot is going to be. I just wanted to make it look like very casual. And lifestyle-esque. I'm gonna use this hand cream right now because my hands are so dry. Ooh, that smells freaking amazing. That smells amazing. Okay, so they sent me a box of goodies. It's a newer brand, really. It's called Masfiato. I believe it's an Italian beauty brand. They are some, they just started, um, they just branched out to the United States, basically. They're gonna be like the Italian version of like Sephora. That's like their their goal in the next few years so they're just trying to like break into the u.s market and that whole thing so they offered me an opportunity to be a partner so each month i'll just show you guys what i got in my my box and almost like a fab fit fun but the reason why i love it is because it's not just beauty it's a home so room sprays and that kind of thing but this is the first thing it's a hand lotion 
So I feel like I'm just gonna like lay them out nicely on the couch here. And then this is going to be a diffuser for the room. So I thought this was gonna be really nice. Decided I'll just use this in the office. It's a diffuser and everything is packaged so luxuriously, very luxurious. Um, so yeah, it's just like very luxurious. Italy is known for like their fabrics. They make really good wool clothes. The food is amazing. But I think their beauty, the beauty industry is just very underrated. So I think that's like why they are, um, you know, want to bring some light to it. So and these are the diffuser sticks. So this box only came with four things. So it's not a lot. Um, oh, this is so interesting. Um, one second. So, just gonna try to shoot this right now. I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. Because this stuff, I don't really know if it's gonna photograph well. So, let's see. Okay, there's definitely a little shadow going on. Maybe this background. Actually, it looks better on here. So I'm gonna do something really quickly. I'll let you guys see what I come up with. All right, guys. I shot the picture for this brand that I was working with. Now, um, I just heard back from the company that I was talking about earlier regarding approving the ad. They just got back to me saying that they do approve, but they do want me to cut one thing out, which is fine because that's like, you know, that's easy. Yeah, I'm just going to work on editing that now and then, um, oh, what am I, okay, I need to make a to-do list because I, I, I know what's going to happen. I know I'm going to like forget all the important stuff that I have to do. Hold on. So my new desk, it is a standing desk, but it's also like a dry erase board, like the top surface, you can write anywhere you want. So that's like great. So I'm just gonna make a to-do list. I'm gonna make a to-do list really quickly. So edit weekly vlog, weekly vlog and finish it. So I have to finish up the vlog today. And then I have to take my OOTD for today, like footage of that. Um, I'm going to put Maza Fiato, which is the brand for the picture. I need to edit that and probably post it. Stat. And then thumbnail for the weekly vlog. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know when I say it, you're probably like, girl, that's nothing, but it's a lot. Only because, only because I feel like thumbnails are like my worst thing. I hate thumbnails so much. I hate thumbnails with every fiber of my being. So, um, yeah, I'm going to just work on that. Yeah. We got some work to do and I'm also really hungry but I don't even have time to eat and I don't even want to eat I don't even want to eat <laughs> I'm just gonna get started on this vlog first and foremost and I'm also gonna close this vlog out here you guys because I also have to start the new vlog today um, so I'm just gonna close this vlog out here um, thank you guys so much for watching I have so much work to finish up but it's okay but I'm just going to close this vlog out here, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's vlog. Um, I'm just so excited. And I'm sorry the vlogs are so short. They're going to get longer eventually. I'm just 
still trying to just figure out my routine my routine is definitely a lot different now and i'm just trying to figure out a good system but once i do everything will be coming into place and i also need to work on a new morning routine because i love just coming back to an office now so exciting but thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you next week okay and have a lovely week stay safe and talk soon bye